two, one. Their names, Sarah Pavin and Melissa Humana Paredes. Remember them, they are among the very best in beach volleyball and serious contenders in Tokyo. Second ball goes long, Canada! Golden on home stand! Pavin is there! Gold for Canada! Melissa Humana Paredes and Sarah Pavin all on their way to Tokyo! They were on an absolute tear in 2019, winning gold at the World Championships and steamrolling their way into 2020 with a number one world ranking. Then, of course, the pandemic hit and all that momentum evaporated. Sarah and Melissa are finally back on the beach together after spending most of the pandemic in different cities. But the question now, after all that time away from the game and each other, can they regroup in time? I recently caught up with Sarah and Melissa from their training home base in Hermosa Beach, California. So hey, Sarah, Melissa, so nice to, to meet you. Thanks for taking the time to chat. I, I gotta start with the, the challenge of the last year. I mean, can you help me understand just how mentally difficult it would have been for you guys to, I mean, essentially take all of your momentum from the previous season and kind of just put it on hold? I personally went through a lot of different emotions. Um, I was angry. I was sad. I was confused. I was in denial. And I just like went through this whole cycle of, of feelings and eventually, I mean, ended up with acceptance. I don't know if Melissa went through exactly the same process, but yeah, I definitely went through a similar emotional roller coaster. I think most of us did. Um, I came back to Canada kind of as soon as there was talk about closing of the borders between the US and Canada. And um, I spent the majority of the pandemic in Victoria. That was also very unexpected. I packed a carry on because I thought I was going to be gone for two weeks and I was there for Ever. months. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go shopping a lot. Um, but yeah, it, it it wasn't what I expected, like neither of us. We, it was like, bye Sarah, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. This will be fine. Yeah. And it wasn't fine. <laughs> I think it's starting to get to me a little bit. Um, I'm starting to get a little antsy. It's tough, this is tough. Unlike their competitors, Melissa and Sarah spent the pandemic off the beach and away from each other. Their Olympic prep, a lot of strength training, alone. We didn't touch a volleyball. Um, it's the longest we've ever gone. Away from each other and away from the sport. None of our other competitors really were away from their teammates for this long, or like in a different country, like not able to train. Like we would, it would be really hard to like not compare ourselves and be like, oh my gosh, we're gonna be so far behind because look at all of our competitors. They're still able to be with each other and work and do this. and. I'm stuck in a living room trying to like lift a couple dumbbells um, and try and maintain the strength that I put on for the Olympics. And I have no idea when the Olympics are gonna happen or if they're gonna happen. And it was, it was really difficult. It was, um, yeah, it was so hard. <laughs> Just understanding that we are both moving through emotions and feelings in a different way or a similar way. And just like being able to be vulnerable and real with each other and where we are mentally and physically and I think having that kind of relationship and honesty and openness um, and safety is what allowed us to move through it in our own way at our own pace. And tell me about those moments where you are together. I mean so I've seen lots of the two of you in competition and I gotta say you know Melissa when I see you make a really great play I'm actually watching Sarah's face. And in those moments after you make a great play, I'll see Sarah, I'll see you mouth the words, great job, that's how we do it. Melissa, I mean, you're nodding your head as I say all of that. What, what do you see and what do you hear in those moments? Yeah, and it's funny, when I, when I do rewatch some of those games and some of those plays, I, I do the same thing. Like after, I, if I made a game, I look at Sarah and I look at, her reaction and it's it gives me a lot of joy and kind of a lot of confidence and just like um it just makes me really giddy because i know we you know as a team we have really high standards and so when i see that emotion from her and and when i see her kind of be proud of something that i did it makes me 
want to do it again and more because it's just I think those moments are what brings us together and those are the moments that we kind of like play for those little words that are said like while we're hugging in between points like those are the moments where I think that brings us closer together. Sarah is, is Melissa reading you right there? Yes <laughs> no I am like I enjoy seeing Melissa succeed and yeah I am proud of her when she does great things and I'm glad that she could know that <laughs> um, <laughs> um yeah, I am definitely more stoic. So to be able to know that she feels that from me is is amazing because I know like when it's in reverse, she is very excited and happy and like it can't I I giggle when she like responds in that way because it's just so cute. <laughs> But so like we celebrate each other in different ways, but I think the base sentiment is the same of just like pride and joy and like so much excitement that like she's on my team, you know? I gotta say, you sound like a real family. We are. You have to be <laughs> like it, like this journey makes you really connect on a really deep level. Like, like there's no other better word I think than family. Casting ahead to, to the Olympics uh, and expectations, what are they? I think, you know, they've been the same for a little bit now and it's to go into Tokyo and be on top of the podium. Um, I think all we can ask for ourselves is to be able to produce Olympic gold medal worthy performances at the Olympics. And if we do that, then the outcome will be an Olympic gold medal. And I think we're on the right path. And that is what we're looking for. Sarah, Melissa, I wish you all the best. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in Tokyo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.